There's a famous seaside place called Blackpool that's noted for fresh air and fun. And Mr and Mrs Ramsbottom went there with young Albert, their son. A grand little lad was a Albert, all dressed in his best, quite a swell, with a stick with an horse's head handle, the finest that Woolworths could sell. They didn't think much to the ocean, the waves there was fiddling and small, there was no wrecks and nobody drowned in fact nothing to laugh at at all. So seeking for further amusement, they paid and went into the zoo, where they had lions and tigers and camels, and old ale and sandwiches too. There were one great big lion called Wallace, his nose were all covered in scars, and he lay in a somnolent posture, with the side of his face on the bars. Now, Albert had heard about lions, how they was ferocious and wild. And to see Wallace lying so peaceful, well, it didn't seem right to the child. So straightway, the brave little fella, not showing a morsel of fear, took his stick with the horse's head handle and shoved it in Wallace's ear. Now you can see that the lion didn't like it, for giving a kind of a roll. He pulled Albert inside the cage with him, and swallowed the little lad all. Then Pa, who had seen the occurrence, and didn't know what to do next, said, Mother, yon lion's it, Albert. And Mother said, Eee, I am vexed. Then Mr and Mrs Ramsbottom, quite rightly when all said and done, complained to the animal keeper that the lion had eaten their son. The keeper was quite nice about it. He said, mm, what a nasty mishap. Are you sure that it's your boy he's eaten? Pa said, am I sure? There's his cat. So the manager had to be sent for. He came and said, What's to do? Pa said, Yon lion said Albert, and him in his Sunday clothes too. Then mother said, Right's right, young fella, I think it's a shame and a sin for a lion to go and eat Albert, and after we paid to come in. The manager wanted no trouble. He took out his purse right away, saying, How much to settle the matter? Pa said, what do you usually pay? But Mother had turned a bit awkward when she thought where her Albert had gone. She said, no, somebody's got to be summonsed. So that was decided upon. Then off they went to the police station in front of the magistrate chap and told him what happened to Albert and proved it by showing his cap. The magistrate gave his opinion that no one was really to blame, and he said that he hoped the Ram's Bottoms would add further sons to their name. At that, Mother got proper blazing, and, Thank you, sir, kindly, said she. What, waste all our lives raising children to feed woody lions? Not me.